Hello everyone and welcome to a crow in her garden and today I am planting my lettuces. I'm super excited. I've got this bed all prepared. I already dug um, five little furrows and since I'm directing, putting these seeds directly in, in the garden, I didn't start these seeds ahead of time inside. I did start them a little bit later but we have very mild winters in this lettuce um, is like it won't die unless it's like a really hard freeze and that won't happen until well after they've grown so I'm gonna just show you what I did how I did this um, really quick and so I've already got two rows planted one on the each outside and I planted those with Tom Thumb lettuce I grew this lettuce last year and they make really adorable cute little um, butter type of lettuce heads that are basically if you cup your hands one head of lettuce will fit inside of your cupped hands it's it's small personal size if you want to call it that but it was delicious and really sweet and crunchy and so I'm definitely growing that again and I also have two other lettuces that I'm going to be growing again I'm gonna grow little gem which is a romaine type but they also grow very small heads and then I got this lettuce called crisp mint which it doesn't taste like mint it's just a very green bright mint green color so I'm going to plant two rows of the little gem and then just one row of the crisp mint right in the middle in between the little gem so basically all I did was I used my little garden tool and I dug a furrow maybe half an inch deep and then I put a little bit of seed starting mix or potting kind of mixed with potting soil in the furrows just to give the seeds um, an easy soil to get germinated and start growing in and then I just kind of shake the seeds down into the furrow I guess I'm going to go with the crisp mint. I'll plant that one down the middle first. Let me get the seed packet open. I'm excited about trying new things this year. Since last year, I, even though I did grow a lot last fall, I'm trying to branch out and grow, grow new things and slowly adding to my garden, making it bigger every year. So... Lettuce seeds are very tiny. They are extremely tiny, like. Let me see if I can get you to see one of them. See, see how tiny they are? So I'm just going to shake a few. Now, if you wanted to harvest these as like baby greens you could sow them really thickly but I'm trying to sow them sparingly because I want to have heads of lettuce so as these seeds sprout I will probably thin them out so that I have one head of lettuce I don't know how many this is new so I don't know how big they are so but I might get like eight I'm hoping eight heads of lettuce for this crisp mint. So, got that one planted. I'm just sprinkle them across the top. Next, I'm gonna plant the little gem. Get this seed packet open. <laughs> it's a beautiful day today. The weather is perfect. It's a little hot, but it's definitely, you can tell that the weather is changing, becoming more fall. So, got that open. Now, here we go. I'll go ahead and plant down this. Make sure you guys are able to see it. Oh, 
I know I'm sewing them very thickly. They come out so fast, it's hard to control it. It's okay. Seeds are not that expensive. Like this packet has hundreds of seeds and it only costs two dollars so all right that's it for those seeds so now i've got a bit more seed starting mixed with potting soil in this bucket here and i'm just going to kind of sprinkle it over the top of the seeds just a little bit you just barely want to cover them imagine the size of the seed is about how deep you want it to be buried come around on this side almost don't have enough Just barely want to get them covered. Okay, now last thing to do is water them in. Water them very gently. Because you don't want to displace the seeds, which putting the seed starting mix on top does help keep them in place. So, yay. And now with seeds, I will probably come out here and water them every day because the last thing you want is your soil to dry out, then your seeds will not germinate. And because they're so near to the surface, the surface of the soil dries out very quickly. So I gotta water them. Preferably in the morning or in the late evening would be good too. Got them all planted. These do not take long to germinate. Last year when I grew the Tom Thumb lettuce, which I did start them inside, it only took them a few days to germinate. So I bet they'll probably germinate even faster out here since it's so much warmer than it is inside. I'm hoping that they do well. This is my first time doing it like this. So usually lettuces don't like a lot of heat, which I mean, we're at the tail end of summer. It's gonna start getting cooler. So hopefully they'll do well. And if they do, then this will probably be the way that I do it because it's way easier direct seeding outside than it is sowing things and having a setup inside the house with grow lights. But if this doesn't work, then obviously I'll do it the other way. So that is that. They are all planted and I will post another video giving an update. Thank you so much for watching. Happy gardening.